Here are 10 tips to design faster in Canva. Ready? Let's do this. Hi, my lovely people. It's Natalia and welcome back to my channel where I help you create better content and grow on social media. Let's jump right in. Tip number one, use shortcuts. The best way to be faster at doing anything is to use shortcuts and it's no different in Canva. When you master them, they speed up your workflow and you end up cleaning hours of work back simply because you click much, much less. The key here is to use them as much as you can, even when it feels uncomfortable, because that's the only way that they become second nature to you. You can effortlessly switch between tools, you can duplicate elements with a stroke of a mouse and navigate layers seamlessly. The whole process becomes smooth and you work in a rhythm that helps design effortlessly. And at the end of the day, you want your focus to be purely on creativity and not on managing the platform itself. Start with the basic ones that you know from other apps like Control C for copying, Control V for pasting, or Control X for cutting. Then you can move on to other useful ones like Control G for grouping. I'm just going to select all of those, Control G, and that's grouped for me. More on that in just a moment, so keep watching. There are other classics like Control B or Control I for italics or bold, or you can actually not go to the text panel on the left in here to add your text box. You can simply hit T and a text box pops up. You can zoom in and zoom out using control plus or control minus, or you can use your mouse scroll and actually hold control and then just use the scroll to do the same. Now, one of my favorites that really, really speeds up the workflow is control D, which lets you duplicate really quickly, just like that. But you can also just select something, then hold Alt and drag the element and that just duplicates it. When you're in need of a shape, don't go looking for it under the elements tab in here. You can simply add a circle by hitting C just like that. You can also use R for rectangles or squares, or you can hit L for lines. There are also super useful shortcuts for positioning, which normally takes a few more clicks because you have to go up to position in here, then send it forward or backward. So it's best to speed this part up. Now click plus opening square bracket brings your selected element forward while control plus closing square bracket sends it backwards. Now if you add all to both of these combos you'll bring it all the way to the front or send it all the way back respectively. You can also tidy up three or more selected elements by going to alt shift t and that's going to arrange them seamlessly. Now to upload images whether from your drive or browser just drag them into the editor like this or again, copy the image from the browser and then control V it into Canva. Now, when you're creating content consistently, every minute spent in Canva counts and shortcuts can really help you flow through designs quickly and efficiently. Now, the second way to do this is to use a brand kit. Now, a quick disclaimer here, a brand kit is a Canva Pro only feature, but the majority of this video will work for free user as well. So stick around for the rest of the tips. And I actually have a brand kit alternative coming up in just a moment too. As a pro user, all of your crucial brand elements belong in one place because there's no better way to keep a cohesive brand image and design really quickly. It's your one-stop shop to make sure your graphics echo your brand identity flawlessly and it's super easy to set it up. From the homepage in the brand hub right here, you can actually add a new brand kit by going to add new and then you can fill it with all the crucial elements of your brand like your logos, your color palettes, your fonts, you've got your photos, graphics, icons, etc. This then becomes a repository for you to quickly access all of your key elements from within the editor by going to the brand tub right in here. Not only is it all organized in one place, you can grab your essentials from there easily when you create from scratch, just like this. I've added the logo in here, but it's also allowing you to very smoothly adapt any templates from the Canva library like this one to your brand guidelines. As an example, you don't have to click and change all of the colors individually. You can simply go to the brand hub to your color palette and then shuffle the colors by clicking on it. Those little actions that you perform every day really add up very quickly and you don't even realize how much time you're wasting on them while designing. By the way, if you want to test the power of the brand hub and see how it speeds up your workflow among all the other incredible features, check out my link in the description box, which gives you 45 days of Canva complete 
completely for free. Now, another way to design much quicker and manage your branding efficiently is to use folders. Now, have you ever spent time scrolling through your uploads tab and couldn't find that one photo that you really needed for a design? If so, chances are you're not using folders and it's slowing you down big time. When your Canva account is organized with folders, your process becomes so much faster. Think about it. When every single visual asset has a place, it's much easier to design quickly because you're not wasting time on looking things up. The two folders I recommend for everyone to have are brand assets and personal photos if you have a personal brand or product photos if you're selling products. The brand assets folder is a great alternative to the brand kit because you can keep your crucial files there without having to rely on Canva Pro. It may not be as convenient and as efficient as a brand kit, but still very useful and makes your design quicker. You can upload an image of your color palette in there and by using the apply colors feature, make your templates match your color scheme. To do this, just add your palette from the particular folder through the projects tab, then right click it and hit apply colors to page. It acts the same way as your brand kit palette. What I love about this feature too, is that when you pull elements from a particular folder, it gets added to the left panel below this line right here, making it very accessible with just one click like this. This becomes so useful for content creation. As an example, I constantly use photos of myself in designs, removing backgrounds and adding outlines like this to help reinforce my personal brand and my photos folder in here is just there when I need it. No unnecessary clicks, no browsing for ages, just a moment and I've got them ready. Come to think of it, I could also just remove all the backgrounds of my key photos from here, add those outlines, export them as transparent PNGs and upload them to a separate folder to shorten the process even further. Without being organized through folders like this, I would design so much slower. It's worth thinking about those actions that you perform repeatedly when designing to optimize your workflow as much as you can. If you want to learn about how to organize your Canva account to work for you, make sure you watch this video next since I'm showing the whole process there, including setting up your folders. To access folders from the editor, you have to go to the projects tab in here and that's another gold mine to help you design faster in Canva. So tip number four, use projects. My favorite way to speed up my design process is to draw from my previous designs to not have to start from scratch each time. Say I'm designing an Instagram post to promote a lead magnet, but I've already created a promo graphic to go on the landing page. Why reinvent the wheel when I can just source some of the graphic elements from this previous design? I can simply go to projects, find this particular design, and then click to apply it to a page and then rework it as I wish. It's a significant way to create faster in Canva since it works for whole designs as well as for smaller parts. I can use a graphic in different dimensions and then repurpose it for a different platform. I can grab a background I've recently designed to form the basis of a new graphic, or I can simply use it as a template. And speaking of templates, that's another way to make your process much faster in Canva. Tip number five, use templates. And this point is twofold. First, First of all, the fastest way to design is to use the templates from the Canva library. This is literally why they're there and you don't need to start from a blank page each time. They're easy to customize to match your brand image. They're already nicely balanced, have an established font hierarchy, and you're working with something that was built by experienced creators and approved by Canva. My tip to not spend too much time looking for that perfect template is to use the extensive search capabilities of the templates tab from the homepage. It allows you to search by keywords from the search bar here at the top. You can browse by purpose here on the left or by keyword here at the very top. And then you have so many options to filter the results. You can also star your favorites like this to then quickly pull them up when needed from the editor using your start folder, which you can easily find by going to our trusty projects tab under folders. The second part is using your own brand templates. As a pro user, any design you create, you can save as a brand template. Once it's ready, simply go to share in the top corner in the right here, click brand template. 
If you can't see it, go to more in here and search brand template. Mind you, there's a similar option called template link, which is used to share your templates with others, which they can then use in their own Canva accounts. So that's a completely different feature. I use my brand templates to save time and batch create content. Whenever I finish mapping out my content for a month, two weeks or a week, whatever time frame suits, I know exactly how many types of posts I have to create. So say for a month's worth of Instagram content, I have to design four carousels, four simple face rust reels, four single infographics, and four talking head reels, which means four reels covers to design. There's no need to start 16 different designs from scratch. I can go into my Canva account and choose from a variety of different templates I created over time for each of these post formats. Since my Canva is organized into folders, I can go to a designated folder for this content type, like carousels in this example and just pick one. It may seem like a lot of work at the very beginning, but it's definitely a huge, huge time saver in the long run. Besides, as your online presence grows and you get more confident creating posts, you'll build up a bigger library of templates for yourself. So the more content you create, the quicker it becomes. Tip number six, use grouping. Group your elements to design faster. When you create a group, you don't waste time by selecting things accidentally or moving every single item separately. The quickest way to group is to select your elements and then hit control G like this. So once you're done aligning a bunch of elements that work together, like a cluster of text boxes in here, or your social media icons, or like in this case, pages of a workbook as well, you can just group them to not mess up the work you've already done. Then they act as a whole unit and you can balance your whole design much, much quicker. I can make all of the elements smaller or bigger like this. I can move them around with no hassle. Now, by the way, if you have many different elements in a design already and you cannot simply select what you want, you can simply go to any of the text boxes, any of the elements in here, go to the position at the top and go to layers or alternatively for a quicker workflow, you can simply hit Alt one and that's going to take you to layers. From here, you can select what you want by holding control to select individual elements or control plus shift to select a whole range like this. From there, you just go to control G to group the whole thing. Tip number seven, use styles. This little brush icon in Canva is slept on. It copies styles for you, which saves so much time when designing. Simply select an element like this text box, tap the style icon and apply it to another text box. But hold on, you can do it for multiple elements too. I've got this whole list right here and I changed my mind about the font midway through designing. No worries, just select again, go to the brush icon and then drag to select the range and apply. So effortless. It also works with images, with videos and shapes. So you can copy your effects, your filters, corner rounding, borders, and so much more. By the way, I regularly share Canva tips like this on my channel. So hit that subscribe button to never miss a useful trick. Tip number eight, have copy ready. One of the best design tips I can give you as a content creator and a marketer is to always start with copy. Your messaging is so important and it's much easier to design with text ready, not the other way around. Design should always serve as a way to get your points across in an engaging, visually striking way. So preparing your copy beforehand is so important. This is the reason why my general workflow for content creation always begins with writing first, then designing after. Based on the content map for any given time, I write my scripts and captions, planning out what text I'll have to include on my graphics. Then jumping into Canva becomes much easier because I can quickly design around it. Sure, I have to make my copy slightly shorter or longer from time to time, but still a much better process than to start with the design. Otherwise, you go into Canva and instead of focusing on creating the visuals, your brain has to switch between two distinctive tasks, designing an engaging graphic and writing an effective copy. This inevitably is going to slow you down. So optimizing this process is so important. Also make sure to not add too much text on your graphics and videos since they should be super easy to digest for the viewer. 
Tip number nine, use the same design. This is one of my favorite ways to design quickly, always have ideas ready, and it may be slightly out of left field. When I know I'll be producing a lot of similar individual graphics for the same purpose, I just use the same design instead of creating a new one each time. I simply add new pages or copy them over to adjust. Probably my two most used designs here are for my Reels covers and for these YouTube title animations, which you've all seen throughout this video. I find it so much more efficient to design by copying because I reuse the same types of templates all the time and it's so much quicker this way. While my carousel templates make more sense as standalone designs since they have multiple slides, graphics like covers are repeatable and help me maintain a consistent feed on Instagram too. Moreover, when I record reels on the fly, I don't have to pick and choose and then create covers. I just jump in my aggregate design, switch to the thumbnails view here at the very bottom and see what I like for this one. This allows me to design super fast, especially when I only have my phone. Mind you, there is a limit to how many pages and elements you can have in one design. So once you can't add any more, just create a new design, copy one page over and keep going. I know this may be not for everyone, but this is my way of optimizing my workflow even more for creating similar designs and especially when creating content. One downside is that I'm much less likely to get those cute design milestone badges that people often share in Canva groups. So if you'd like a achievements like this, then definitely skip this tip. Tip number 10, use AI. It won't be a surprise to you in 2023 that AI has the power to speed up and simplify tasks that normally require a ton of time and effort. Luckily, Canva is developing its amazing AI toolkit and it would be a shame to not use it to your benefit. Here, I have a few of my favorites. With Magic Expand, you can extend an image beyond its borders, which is so useful because you can correct clumsy cropping, add more space to tighter shots, or probably most most importantly, turn a vertical image into a horizontal one and vice versa. This saves you a lot of time browsing and searching for that perfect image to give you enough negative space to fit your text. To do this, select a photo of your choice, go to edit photo in the top panel and choose magic expand. Then select the aspect ratio like whole design here, then click magic expand and choose your favorite out of the generated images. A fantastic way to design faster in Canva is to use the magic assistant. It's hidden here under this little magical icon and gives you access to the most popular actions and features very quickly. My favorite thing it does though, is that when you scroll all the way down, it actually suggests graphics or photos to match the vibe of your design. For example, if you've used a photo from the library in your presentation, it can show you others that look very, very similar or are from the same photo shoot. No need to scroll and scroll to find the perfect ones. Within the assistant, you have Magic Write, which you can use to quickly create copy for your designs. You can use this one to generate something like a list of tips or a paragraph talking about a specific point, but I want to show you the suggestions when I actually select an existing piece of text and then utilize the assistant like this. Now you have a few cool options like summarizing or expanding, which is great for when you need a bit more or a bit less text for your design. You can use Rewrite to paraphrase to fix any mistakes and to change up the tone a little bit. As a pro user, you can also add your brand voice description in the brand kit, and then you can go back to your designs, go to the brand tab, and actually use this brand voice to generate text, making it even more custom and relevant. Frankly, there are so many other great AI features in Canva, so make sure you watch this video right now to see how Canva magic can improve your content creation even more. Subscribe to my channel for more Canva content and marketing strategies and hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time.